Okay. You know okay. It's, it's difficult to talk things, talk about things in a vacuum. Now, I use a lot of visuals because I like visual schedules now, and mm -hmm. visuals help people with autism a lot. You know the old adage: a mm -hmm. picture says it's a thousand a words. Yeah. Okay, so it's difficult to start talking about things in a vacuum. So I want you to think about how we store information. Okay, there's files. Um, information can be streaming into our brain all the time, even when we're asleep, we're not paying attention to awake. Okay. And if we don't know where to put it, it'll pass right through, or it'll get stored in the wrong place and you won't be able to find it later. We can either find it, no. No. Now, there are a lot of people who have desks that look like this, and if you ask them to find something from three weeks ago, they walk right there and pull it out. Now, isn't that a better way for you to provide them information than that way? Or that way? If that's, it's, it's the way that you store your information that's important. And you need to think about that when you're thinking about people with autism because they don't store the information the same way you do. Okay. So if they have to put it someplace that makes sense to you, when they need to retrieve it later without a prompt from you, they're not going to be able to find it. Okay, do you know the difference between verbal, uh, receptive, and expressive? Have you all studied the, that in, fair, in good detail? So this might be some of them. Okay. Um, and language, it's not only spoken language. It's also, and it's not only written language, it's computer language and maths and things like that. You can understand stuff. You know, like when you sit in a lecture and you're, someone's lecturing you for hours and you understand everything. <coughs> that they're saying. And then you have to tell somebody else what you've learned? Never, yeah. Not necessarily. Just because you have the receptive capacity, you don't necessarily really own the information and you don't, you can't necessarily express provide it to somebody else. Okay. And then expressive language is what we say or write uh, so that others will understand us to a degree. You have to remember that we really, like I said before, with the color pink or whatever, we are in agreement about things. It's close approximations. It's never, you know, mind melt. Okay, we're going to do a little exercise in receptive language here. Take out your paper and write your name backwards at the top of the paper. <laughs> oh, paper. <laughs> Everybody's hand raised? <laughs> okay? Mm. Okay. Did you do it right? Who knows that they did it exactly right? Yeah. 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 Did, it right. did you have paper? You yeah. all found the lined paper. Bravo. Mm. Yeah. That was pretty good. <laughs> what if I hadn't put that lined paper in there? Did you know that you were supposed to have paper? No, you didn't. Right? Had you looked in there and seen that you had there was a line piece of paper there and you were wondering? Yes. Ahead of time what that paper was for? Okay. Uh, did you have a pen or a pencil? Not everybody. Did you know to ask for a pen or 
or a pencil or a piece of paper. You just went and got one. Okay. Uh, did everybody else have what they needed? Okay. Come on. That's how I did it. Is that the right way? Mm. Or is that the right way? Yeah, or is that the right way? Yeah. Or is that the right way? Or is that the right way? Or is that the right way? Okay? Now, those, all of those questions and choices are what someone with autism goes through whenever they're doing any exam for every single question. It's always a trick question. Think about how that feels. Mm -hmm. And that's the reality. Okay? So, that's the right answer. That's what I was, that's what in my mind I was asking you to do. So, did I give you enough information for that? Could I have given you much too much information for that? Would it have been easier if I said, do this with your own name on your piece of paper? That would have been the easiest for a kid with autism. Mm -hmm. Do something like this using your own name. Because then they wouldn't have to go through all of those wonders. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Does he mean this? Does he mean that? Am I allowed to raise my hand and ask? Okay. Uh, if I could interject for a sec. Absolutely. Um, speaking as someone who's a student myself, I figured that one of the best ways for people with autism to actually learn what people what the exam questions mean by what they're asking is to go through past exam papers wherever appropriate. That way, they can see what the, the, take care of the questions and the answers and work out from there what they're asking for when an exam asks a specific question. If you get what I'm saying? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. 